has skipped seven out of 11 school board elections. You're watching Mayor Healy make a $30,000 secret deal. A race for the hearts and minds of the new and the old Jersey City is coming down to the wire. The incumbent, Jeremiah Healy, is seeking a third term, and his endorsement by President Obama last month seemed to recharge his then-slumping campaign. The biggest thing for our city is the continued investment and development of our city, and it's not just Ward E. It's all over the city now, and people still want to come here, do business here, invest here, build here. But Healy's challenger, Steve Fulop, sees things differently. He says despite the Obama endorsement, Healy's lost the credibility to ask for Jersey City votes. I think that that endorsement allowed people to take a second look at a mayor with a failed record. And they said, you know what, the president is saying it's okay, let me take a look at it. And then they took a look and what we're finding now is they said, you know what, um, the president doesn't live here. I may support the president, but he doesn't live in Jersey City and see what I see. On election day Tuesday, all eyes will be on one particular ethnic group. Latinos, whose political power has been growing to the point where both sides acknowledge now that they will likely be the deciding political bloc in this race. Yeah, see, sí, claro. The Latino leadership here in Jersey City has been stagnant from the standpoint they've been the same people for a very, very long time. And the perception in the rank and file people is that they've been more self absorbed, the leadership being. A great barometer of the Hispanic importance to our city can be seen by the numbers of police and firefighters. The last three or four years, the biggest ethnic group, and it's not really close, of firefighters and police has been Latinos. Jose Arango is a Republican in this mostly Democratic city where elections are officially nonpartisan. He says the candidate who takes Latinos for granted does so at his own peril. Everybody has some group of Hispanics. It has been a very poor, wrong campaign, no matter who's running. In terms of issues? You of mean? issues, you know, yeah. It hasn't been a real campaign for anybody. Another key demographic in this race is newcomers to Jersey City. They are believed to be mostly supporting Steve Fulop, but have yet to show that they'll come out to the polls en masse, which, in a close race like this one, makes Tuesday's get-out-the-vote effort that much more critical. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz. NJ Today.